been going on with you? I mean, I've mm. had some some crazy changes. Yeah, uh, yeah. So um, I work somewhere else now. How's that? Uh, well, I quit three times already. <laughs> <laughs> and so the the funny thing is, the last time, right? I'm just it, trying. I'm trying to imagine as a worker there, <laughs> knowing that my boss had quit three times and kept getting pulled back in. Like, what confidence do I have to want to come to work? <laughs> Be like, I'm not coming in tomorrow, Anthony. Why not? I don't know. I just quit, I guess. <laughs> well, I give him like a heads up and stuff like that. And we talked, and uh, like uh, the owners are very, very nice. I like most of the people working there. The people are really cool. It's just like uh, the schedule and stuff like that. It's really, really tough, like, especially if you have family and stuff like that. And there's some other things that, you know, whatever. But uh, the place is really cool. Mm-hmm. Um, but. It's just not overall, overall for me. And I think like I've been working a restaurant for a really, really long time. So I'm kind of thinking I kind of want to get out of it. I think overall I'm pretty good at it. Could be better, but you know, it kind of is what it is on that one. But uh, yeah, so the the last time, um, so a week ago on Sunday was supposed to be my last day. Mm-hmm. And two weeks, two weeks prior to that, I I put in my notice. I was like, hey. I don't want to do this no more, you know, um, and I really wanted to quit that day. I had a horrible day that night and it was, I was over it like Mm. completely. I went home and I was, I was going to, it's like two o'clock in the morning and I'm at home and I'm like, or driving home and I'm like, I'm going to call him tonight and I'm just going to quit right then and there. That's what's going to happen. And I was like, let me, let me be mature. I'm going to sleep on it. I might Mm -hmm. be just overreacting or whatever. And um, if I still feel like this, I'll quit in the morning. So I go to bed. My wife is asleep. And I go, yo, I'm I'm, I'm quitting in the morning. I'm going to sleep on it, though. She rolls over. That's nice, dear. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Pretty much. She's like, let me know what happens. (laughs) So I wake up in the morning, and I'm still angry. And I, I call my boss, and I was like, Yo, I can't do this anymore, and I really don't want to. I don't. I don't even want to go back. And I'm supposed to work that night too. Mm. And I was gonna come because you know that's just a crappy thing to do, just to up up and leave. But so I'm like, okay, I don't want to do it. And she's like, well, can you, you know, at least work out two weeks? I was like, I can do that. I'll I'll do that. So the two weeks up, and nobody really says anything. She's joking with, with me and stuff like that and be like, oh, you know, if you stay longer, yada, yada, yada. And <laughs> I'm just laughing because I think it's funny. Mm-hmm. Um, but to me, it's like, yeah, yeah I'm done, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and again, they're so nice, s- super sweet. And it, I think if they weren't, I definitely wouldn't have been there, you know. But um, so the two weeks are up, <coughs> and on the last day that I'm working, I'm starting telling people that, yeah, this is my last day. They were like, no, no, is, is it for real? Well, how come you didn't tell anybody? I was like, if I would have told some people, y'all would, some of y'all would act a fool mm-hmm. and just do whatever y'all want to do. This way, you don't know. You know, it doesn't make it. If I tell somebody, if I tell staff, we're like, hey, I'm leaving in two weeks. They don't care what I got to say. I don't know. I did get a cake when I left. <laughs> did, did <laughs> when you? I transferred um, uh, to the other, to the one here in town. Yeah. And I thought it was going to be permanent. And I was like, all right. Just so y'all know, I got I got two days left. Yeah. Just because you know you don't see everybody in one shift. I was like, I just want to tell everybody bye. Yeah. I'm leaving day after tomorrow. And they're like, No, no. It's the last day. I got a big old Publix cake oh, nice. and a card. I was like, hmm, I might leave more often. I get a cake. <laughs> <laughs> That's some good stuff. <laughs> oh shoot. Yeah. So I'm telling. Oh man. Uh, so I'm telling the people uh, on my last day. You know, it's my last day, and this, and um. It was kind of weird because I, I haven't really been there that long, um, but people were like giving me hugs and they, it felt really nice that you know, um, again I try to work hard and I mm-hmm. try to do the right thing and um, so it, it made kind of a lot of people were like oh you know I'm actually going to miss you and stuff like that I'm sorry that you're leaving um, and all that uh, on all that stuff and it, you can feel it was genuine, mm-hmm. you know uh, at least I hope so it, it fooled me if, if if it wasn't and. Um, and, um, yeah, so somebody, one, one of the bartenders goes like, it's not your last day. You, you're joking. Because I do joke a lot mm-hmm. with them, and I can see, I, I can make a serious <coughs> face while, uh, 
while talking. I was like, no, 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 I'm I'm serious. So she calls the owner. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna get to the bottom of yeah, this joke she right calls, now. She calls I call the, your bluff. <laughs> she calls the owner. And she gets off the phone. Press she goes X to doubt. <laughs> she said that you're not leaving. <laughs> and we're like, How, why in the world would she say that? You know what I'm saying? Look, like I'm seriously. This is my la- like my last shift, right? <laughs> you you even get these at, keys when I walk out. Wh- the door. <laughs> while I, right before I'm leaving, I'm even like taking shots with people. You know, a farewell <laughs> shot. So, like I'm because I don't drink at work. So I'm taking shots. He's like me either. <laughs> and uh, so it's that's Sunday, right? Uh, on Monday they call me and they were like, "Yo, can um, yeah, what's this? I hear about you leaving?" Yeah, pretty much. He's <laughs> like, "No, we talked about it. It was two weeks ago. <laughs> it's the end of the two weeks, you know." And um, they kind of talked me into staying a little bit longer and stuff like that. And I was like, well, you know, you still need to really find somebody else. Um, and, they, and they know I'm kind of looking and, you know, dabbing and stuff like that. But um, so it's kind of weird, though, going back on I th- <laughs> going back on Wednesday. And they were like, oh, I thought you left. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I thought so, too. <laughs> but here I am. <laughs> No, and they, everybody they was cool. And they were like, <laughs> they were like, but they don't know about the other times mm-hmm. um, that I was leaving. But mm. all, all kind of different things. And, and again, it's it's. Um, I don't know. My my friend says that I'm insane to keep on doing the same thing, and I kind of agree. But he thinks I would be bored if 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 I get a, like a desk job. I'd be, be bored. incredibly bored. Yeah, yeah. I, I was, you know, talking to my mom. And, you know, she retired from SRS after like 35 years or something like that. And she's like, "Yeah, you need to get your job so you can retire out there." And I'm like, "I cannot imagine working at a job for 35 years. Like that blows my mind. Like I've loved almost all the jobs I've had. I can't imagine doing any of them for 35 years." And I'm like, just you know, the one time I had an office job. Uh, I, I, I did it for like four months. I mean, I could not do it longer than that. Well, first off, my sleep schedule was all out of whack. It was incompatible with the job. It was at a tax assessor's office. So like the most mundane, monotonous job <laughs> for property tax. Oh. And um, they had me, they had this room with nothing but, um, it looked like um, Dewey Decimal cards. Mm. And it had everyone's property in the county. And it had all these little notations on it for, you know, what their property was like. And I had to digitize all of those. And so it was grab a card, type, type a few little lines, go put the card back, go get another card. Yeah. It was so boring. And you would see, like, maybe five customers a day would come up to my little window. And, like, next thing you know, like, I'm <laughs> falling asleep <laughs> at the desk. Did somebody have a knock? <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, uh, they wanted sir? me to get there at, like, 6 in the morning. And they're like, yeah, we're going to do um, four tens. You know, the office voted. I didn't get a vote. They like, the office voted, and we're going to do four tens. So we're going to be closed on Fridays. I'm like, oh, okay, that's, that's cool. And they're like, we're going to get to work at like 6 a.m. I'm like, oh, God, why would I do that? <laughs> you couldn't work four 10-hour shifts? No, I'm not good, too early in the morning. I would go to bed at like 2. I could not. I would have made it work. I was not going to sleep. Six? Man, it would be an amazing schedule. I yeah. could, I could do it. I, so like that was another. So the thing is, like, there are still openings there that I see on the county website, and I look at how low the pay was, and I'm like, how did I survive off that? Oh. Like that is, yeah, absolutely insane. Even their salaried positions, um, were what I was making at GameStop as a oh. store manager, which was like, I think it was like thirty five thousand. Yeah. I'm like, how did I? Still now. Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm like, how did I survive on that? Well, I mean, I wouldn't even salary then. I was hourly. I think I was making like 10 bucks an hour or something like yeah. that. I'm like, Lord, I, I couldn't go back to that job if I wanted to. Like, I'd have to have three of them jobs. <laughs> yeah, but stuff is so expensive now, too. I, I get people working like two. I know some people do work three jobs. I mm-hmm. just I couldn't do it. I, I mean, it's different, too. Like, in a restaurant, mm-hmm. if you're a manager, you do work like – there's no – there is a way to work a- another job. There's no way to work three jobs. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, the f- that one job takes a lot of 
freaking time. And, and you're scheduled like, all you're over off, the place. You're you not can't like, off, off, you know. You can't ever get scheduled at a weird. So, <laughs> funny story. So, uh, yesterday was Father's Day. Happy belated Father's Happy. Day. Happy. And, um, mm-hmm. Went out with just feels cheap because I said it first. But you, we already <laughs> said that yesterday. So the day before Father's Day, uh, one of our servers comes in and she's like, "Hey, I don't think I'm going to be able to work tomorrow. I got a job at a um, at a country club up the street as a manager." Okay, well, you know, congratulations. Um, kind of sucks. It's the day before Father's Day. Yeah. But, all right. Well, I just I really want to work, but I just don't know where my loyalties lie. It sounds like it lies with the place you've been with for three days <laughs> yeah. and not us you've been with for years. But, okay, whatever. You know, that, that's fine. But she's like, I've just been working so much lately. I'm like, yeah, I hear you. And she's like, I, you know, I've been doing 12-hour days. I'm like, mm, you yeah, know, that's rough. Expect that. I mean, like it, it doesn't, it'll get a little easier, but, I mean, you're still going to be there 10, 11 hours a day. Yeah, yeah. And she's like, it's just so much, so much work. I'm like, yeah. I mean, it looks easy when you're a server and you're running around. And you don't see us dealing with everyone's problems, but like, it's a lot of dirty yeah, work. It's nonstop, and the, the amount of stupid questions that you have to answer Ugh. that doesn't stop. So many stupid questions. <laughs> this guy was like, "Hey, they ran uh, my appetizer to the wrong table. What do I do?" I said, "Ring in another appetizer." But I've already rang in the one. I said, well, I know, but we still got to ring it in so the kitchen knows to make it, right? But, and, like, you could see the wheels just grinding away, like, trying <laughs> to figure out. And I'm like. Just r- take it from the table, then. <laughs> <laughs> like, ring it in, and we'll take it off their bill. Oh. This man has worked there for, I think, almost three years now. <laughs> like, you have encountered this situation before. I know you have. I know you know what to do. Why do you make me say it? Yeah. <laughs> Why do you make me go out loud as... And make me think less about you. <laughs> Maybe the outcome he thinks might be might be different. I don't understand too because like uh, like at the job that I'm right now, they be asking me questions, and, and I'm like, you've been here a lot longer than I have. You should know this. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like some people just want permission for some reason. Maybe, and sometimes that's good, and sometimes like you like wasting my time. You know. Hey, I want to do something special for a table. Can we do this? You just want permission. Okay, yeah, yeah, sure. I'll sign off on that. That way you're not just giving away free stuff without me knowing about it. I appreciate it. And then sometimes they're like, they said they didn't want their steak. They didn't like it. What do you want me to do? What do they want to do? I don't know. I didn't ask them. Yeah, that's... Why? (laughs) Why was that not... You're already at the table. (laughs) When the conversation goes, I don't like this. I want something different. Why is there your first instinct not to say, okay, what would you like? Yeah. (laughs) Instead of... I have to go now. And then <laughs> just walk away? That's what, <laughs> what sense does that make? What I'm, sometimes I think about that. Well, like, how did you leave that situation? <laughs> do you be like, let me get a manager really fast? Just or do you like, okay, they, and then just walk away? They just maintain like, eye I'm contact s- and start backing <laughs> away? <laughs> I'm pretty sure some people do that. They're like, they complain like, uh, <laughs> You hear like Tina from Bob's Burgers? Uh, yeah. <laughs> They keep little tiny smoke pellets in their pocket. <laughs> I'm gone. <laughs> and like that. <laughs> oh, man. The table didn't like their steak. Or they was like, well, are they getting another one? Do we, did we mess up? We got to remake it. Do they want something different? They don't know the answers to any of these questions. No, I, I didn't ask. But you were at the table. <laughs> and these are the same questions I ask every time. Did we mess up? What do they want? I don't know. You've been here so long. <laughs> I like I like how people order food and then they're like, well, I don't, I don't like they order nachos or whatever and be like, but I don't like pico, but uh, it's on the menu that it has pico in it. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I, I can't, I can't eat pico. <laughs> Why just order without pico? This has been wonderful to find out 15 minutes ago. <laughs> I ate the whole thing. I didn't like it. Well, this. <laughs> well, you should have let me know before you finished the meal. It's gone. <laughs> Yeah, I, I was just so hungry. Yeah, I'll You're give you so a refund hungry. for whatever you didn't eat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you would have let me know earlier, I could have done something about it. At this point, the plate is empty. Yeah. There's nothing I can it do about like it. sounds like you liked it enough to finish the plate. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, like, I, I well, would have ne- been embarrassed, literally embarrassed, yeah, if I would have came up to it. Just 
I don't I don't know what <laughs> I would never it wouldn't cross my mind to say that to somebody at a restaurant. I wouldn't either. <laughs> like, now I done ate food that I didn't like before that I ordered. I just know not to get it again. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Or I, just know, I didn't oh. eat it and I just I paid for it because it's my fault. You learned the lesson. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just a life lesson. That's not the worst. I can't tell you I'll go out to a restaurant and I'll be like, ooh, this is not what I thought it was gonna not be. Not doing that again. Hey, babe, remind me next time I don't like the yeah. chicken tender or whatever it is, you know. <laughs> this was, they had they had set the appetizer down at the wrong table in front of someone, and they ate it, knowing they didn't order. And then when they finished, they said, I don't know whose these were. I didn't order this. But you ate it. Now, I done made somebody charge them for it. It was, they were all part of the same party. They were at two different tables. Uh. They took someone else's food that they knew it wasn't and there. ate their food, That's and it was like, dirty. I don't know whose food this is. <coughs> what? <laughs> oh, the other day, too. So I come out as a couple, right? Uh-huh. Uh, a couple, and I have two items. And what were the items? Uh, it was two, okay, two sets of wings, identical wings. Uh-huh. One of them had ranch. One of them had blue cheese. 50-50 chance of who it right. could be. So I go out there and <laughs> They goes, act like it's a launch code. They don't know. <laughs> who, who had has, ranch? <laughs> no, uh, no, that's, that's, uh, what's ranch? Yeah. <laughs> Well, I don't understand the question. Motherfucker, did you have ranch on your wings or not? Yeah. I had the salmon. I'm talking about wings. <laughs> Do I? Did I talk about some <laughs> sea fish with you? I go, he said, who has the wings with the blue cheese? The guy looks at the girl. The girl looks at the guy. They don't even look at me at this point anymore. They're just looking at each other. And I go, the wings with the blue cheese? And then a woman goes, I had the ranch. I didn't ask about the ranch. I asked about the blue cheese. So I assume you had the blue cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's me. That's me. Like, why uh, didn't you say something in the first place? Uh, I, I, I like, love you don't know what you ordered? They don't. It, you know, I, I, it's hard for me to think if I had never worked in a restaurant, if I would be that way. Or if I'm I this the way I, I am I refuse to I believe that I would be any – even if I weren't to work in a restaurant, <laughs> I refuse to believe I would be that – I, I, like I don't you, even know what to say about it. I like that. when you go to a table and there's like, you know, every table has like an unofficial leader. Yeah. Like they'll be the one to speak up. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. then they're wrong so often. Like, I'll, <laughs> I'll have like five plates and they are heavy. And I'm like, okay, who got the burger with broccoli? Uh, she got the burger with broccoli. I go to set it down. Nah. I had salmon. <laughs> uh, okay, who had the burger with broccoli? Oh, no, no, no. That was them. Uh, I didn't have broccoli. I had mashed potatoes. Somebody, <laughs> somebody besides this man speak up. Who had the burger and broccoli? Hey, people don't do pivot points anymore, which used to help out a lot. I don't know if they, yeah, yeah pivot Supposed points. Supposed to. But, uh, you know, you do the training, and then it just goes right out the window. Yeah, it does. And the next thing you know, you, you're just auctioning off food because they don't know how to, they don't know how to do their pivot points. Yeah, that's right. Have you ever held a heavy tray and nobody answers you? I have. And then you just walk off with the food. <laughs> I think... It's actually worse. Nobody has you, this? Okay, <laughs> let me go out. Let me go back to the kitchen. Because I'm at the wrong table right now. I, I have I've taken everything back because I thought I was at the wrong table because no one claimed any of the food. I go back, and the server's like, no, that's the right table. I go back out there with the server, and then they're like, this person had this, they had that, they had that. And they go, yeah, I did have that. I'm like, oh my God. you ordered this 18 minutes ago. I saw the check. <laughs> <laughs> How did you all get collective amnesia in 18 minutes? <laughs> But oh, the worst okay. is when you go to deliver food and like, everyone is in silent prayer and you don't notice. Oh. <laughs> you go to the table and you're like, all right, salad with ranch. Oh. Salad with ranch. <laughs> and you just, like, you just I try wait. To, you just I try to wait. sneak it silently onto the table so maybe when they open their eyes they'll be like, what bounty has Jesus brought? We prayed and he has delivered. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> Jesus, I asked for no tomato on my salad. <laughs> You know what? That's it's okay, man. Be like Chick Fil A at that point. You just got to take it. <laughs> but I'm allergic. <laughs> oh man, I had somebody look look at me before and then turn around and continue talking to their friend. I walk off at that table too. <laughs> yeah. So you're gonna be so disrespectful. You could be at least be like, "Hey, I'm not exactly sure." Or turn around and be like, "Hey, did anybody have? I don't know. <laughs> Does anybody have? I'm just gonna say nachos." Or, you know, like, help, <laughs> help somebody out. Uh, like, and for some reason, it's guys a lot of time. Like, they refuse to engage in conversation with me. Like, just because I'm a dude, I guess. Yeah. So, like, I'll go to the table, and I'll be like, you know, back when I would serve, I'd be like, all right, what can I get for y'all to drink? And he'll look at her, sweet tea. And she'll look at me, 
He wants sweet tea. I'm like, I am right here. We are a triangle. You can't just take away one of the sides. I mean, like, and so I ask him, what would you like for dinner, sir? Tell him I want some chicken. T- am I a ghost right now? <laughs> like, are you the only one that can see me? <laughs> like, what's happening here? Why am I not a person you can't even, you can't even engage with me, your order? <laughs> like, yeah. well, you know what's funny, though? I kind of do it, but not really. And not on purpose. And I noticed that I do it, too. It's because my wife kind of knows what I want anyways. And she's just kind of ordering. Mm-hmm. And it's just, I don't know, like, oh, we really just go out to Mexican. And I don't like pronunciating the <laughs> words that <laughs> that they have on the menu. Because I don't want to say it. I, I say <laughs> weird. It's like a German accent in English word trying to speak Spanish, right? You know, that's one of the things, like, so in my head, I know that... People in every country can speak every other country's language. Like, there's not a there's not a country that there's someone in there who can't speak another language, yeah. right? But there are some accents that are so incongruous to me, I can't imagine it. Like German and Spanish, I cannot imagine like a full blooded, born and raised in Germany, Ooh. and then all of a sudden they start try to say Pico de Gallo or something like yeah, that. Yeah, that's weird. I, can't, I never thought about that. I can't hear that in my head. I know, I know someone over there speaks Spanish. Someone took Spanish in a, in a class somewhere. I cannot hear it in my head. It blows my mind to think about. You look that up. Or that's like <laughs> Russian and Italian. Like, how do you say an Italian word in a Russian accent? Like, that... Oh, it makes my weird. head hurt to think yeah, about yeah. I, I really have to look that up. That's and maybe it's just because, like, I grew up in the United States where everyone has, to me, who lived here, a very bland, you know, accent. Where just, to me, you know, America has very soft vowels. It's yeah. not like some languages have very harsh consonants. Yeah, Russian, harsh, German. Yeah. And, you know, and, and I, or like um, like uh, people in Singapore, like, their their language just sounds so foreign to me. I cannot possibly imagine another language coming out of those sounds. Um, and I, I mean, I'm not even going to try to replicate it <laughs> on a recording. But, like, if you listen to someone from, like, Vietnam, I'm like, okay, speak Spanish. Like, try. How, how yeah, do you yeah, do yeah. that? Speak Italian. Speak Russian. Speak anything, really. I mean, I cannot. I know there are people out there, and they are super talented. And, you know, props to them. I cannot picture it. Because sound already... If they speak English, it already sounds kind of yeah. off. And, I, and maybe that's just like my brain trying to process it through sp- saying it in English but in Spanish, like yeah, yeah, instead yeah. of just the straight Spanish. I don't know, man. It, it just people that can do that, people yeah. that know what second languages are already like dope as hell. But yeah, but the accents also it's it's kind of weird. But it's also hard for me to understand if you have an accent from a different country. Mm-hmm. It's really hard. If I don't see your mouth, it's really hard for me to understand you. I do that with my grandfather. He's got, like, a very deep, almost Cajun Southern, and it, I have to, like, I have to look at him in his mouth the yeah. entire time he'll speak because if I look away, and it's, all the words start coming, coming jumbled, <laughs> and I'm like, say, say that again, Papa? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, I, <clears throat> so like, my, uh, my wife orders a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. And sometimes, a lot of times, we also split. Like we get mm-hmm. the Texas margarita in a pitcher, and we just split it. So mm-hmm. she does most of the ordering, and uh, but I just make sure that they know that I don't ignore them. Mm-hmm. So I, I just make sure I, I'll be like, okay, thank you, thank you very much. I just you know that I speak to them and tell <laughs> them thank you. Not that I can't order or not that I don't want to talk to them. It's just like. I don't know. She's doing it anyways. <laughs> you ever you ever try to take someone's order over the phone? And <laughs> they've got some a third person there in the room with them, oh. and they're like, "What would you like for your order?" And you hear them turn around. What do you want? What do you want? I'm like, "Do you want to put them on the phone?" He said he wants a steak. What steak would he like, ma'am? What steak do you want? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everything is like translated through this third person. I'm like, "Just put them on the phone. Just put them on the phone and let me talk to them." <laughs> Literally, half the words will be said. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I don't like phones. Are even worse for me. Like taking an order or having to call services and stuff like that. Like Aloha, call Aloha and stuff like mm-hmm. that. Yeah. Make sure you call in the right time. Mm. I don't want to. Have you tried? Oh, we're just trying to fix something. Have you tried this? Or you tell? I go. Hey, I just want to let you know I have a problem with the computer or whatever it is. These are the steps that I already took. 
the Comcast internet, right? Oh, yeah. I already turned it off, already reset it, already unplugged it, let it go for 15 seconds, plugged it back in, tried it, whatever. I tell them all of that stuff. First words out of their mouth. Have you, have have you, you unplugged, unplugged it? it? <laughs> Didn't I? T- are you listening? This is not going to work. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I've tried the first nine pages of your troubleshooting guide, which is all unplug it and plug it back right. in. Thank you very much. <laughs> I need you to reset it. Try that one. You know. Oh, since we tried all the problems already, I'm going to have to escalate the situation. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> they escalate, and they're like, all right, first off, go ahead and unplug it. I already did that. Just do it again, sir. <sighs> okay. <laughs> they do. <laughs> yeah. And then as soon as you do it, they're like, well, looks like I'm going to have to reset it on my end. I'm like, that's what I've been saying. (laughs) Oh, man, let me tell you. So I was on the phone with Aloha, a POS system, right? POS is right. Yeah. And um, so we're on the phone, and we're going through this troubleshooting for the computer. And we can't get it to work. And she goes, I'm going to have to send it to somebody else because my shift stopped. Good. And I go, ma'am, oh, my shift stopped an hour ago, <laughs> and I'm on the phone. She's like, well, I'm really sorry, but I can't continue. I'm going to have to transfer you to somebody else. You sound upset. And I go, Let please me escalate don't, that. Don't, don't do that, because I'm going to have to explain this oh, again. This. Oh, I took notes. No, you didn't. <laughs> so they transfer me, you been and we out start this whole minutes. thing over again. And I go, I just want to let you know I already did this. Be like, yeah, yeah, uh, I, I, I see the notes. Why are we doing this again? <laughs> but like, yeah, it's um, and I said, you know, I'm I'm really upset because this woman said her shift stopped, it might stop too, and I'm still on the phone with you. <laughs> I just don't put put the phone down and walk away. Like, I guess I'll deal with it tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I was so aggravated. I was aggravated at uh, USAA one time, and I don't know if I said this story with uh, my daughter. Car insurance. We're shopping for car insurance. And um, so I call USAA, and they're expensive. They're good, but they're expensive. So I call USAA and be like, hey, I'm looking for car insurance. I just want to know how much it is. My, my daughter is about to start driving and getting a car, yada, yada, yada. So we go through the quotes and stuff like that. And I go, no, I don't want to do that. Right? Her mom is going to put her on her car insurance. Okay. All good. Then we get a bill. It's a thousand dollars more Ugh. than we normally pay. And I'm like, yo, what is this? <laughs> it's like, oh, it's your your daughter's car insurance. And I was like, no, no, no. I specifically made sure. I said I did not want to do that. It's like, well, if you have a if you have a child in the house, they automatically get put on the car. And I was like, no, I never said yes to that <laughs> or any of this stuff. And he's like, no, 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 it's it's automatic. If you have a kid in the house, he's like, well, she has car insurance. It's just not through y'all. And this is the reason I said, because no. <laughs> this is ridiculous, right? He's like, no, 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 it's uh, it's automatic. And I was like, okay, send me. And I was on the phone for, the, for three hours mm. arguing. And I go, send me the piece of paper. Oh, Send me the piece of paper or the digital thing where mm-hmm. I signed off on it that that's okay. Yeah, like Send it, it to no me. Sense. Email it to me like right now. As if like as if oh, you can't can, go. We can't find any of the <laughs> stuff. Wow. No, because I didn't. Well, like as if as if it, it's not possible to be like, I'm sorry, you can't drive while you're in this house. Yeah. Like, that's all you got to do is. But they're like, oh no, if they live there, they're definitely driving all the time. Yeah, <laughs> right. Or like, okay, she's not even driving. Like, she lives here. You're not allowed to drive the car. Mm-hmm. Like, it, the cars are insured mm-hmm. with my wife and I. You're not going to touch the car. Let, d- does she have to be on insurance? You, you wouldn't even know that she's nope. there you until know. I said something. You didn't know. <laughs> right? Yeah. Man, they got me so here. I almost canceled USA, but I like them out. How about, uh, so Ayana was saving up to get her first car, and she bought a um, little Chevy Spark, uh, you know, know used. She drove that thing for two weeks and totaled it. She went on a trip with her friends to the mountains mm. and took a turn wrong and head on hit someone. Total the car. Didn't even make her first payment yet. Oh, I said, oh, my man. God. All I could think of was your poor insurance. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not only did you, <laughs> did they just put an 18-year-old, <laughs> then they just totaled a car on it, too. <laughs> just the, all the insurance, like, point proven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know who they're with, but I imagine them just going, Yes, this is exactly what we do. 
I was like, oh man, I can't even imagine how much that's going up in a, in a month. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, insurance. I think it went up a hundred dollars since I signed up since last year. Insurance mm-hmm. got up ridiculous recently. My property tax arrives today. I want to mm-hmm. see how much that's going to go up. All I could think of was like, that means my house payment's going to go up. Oh man. <laughs> You can pay it separate and it stays. But mm-hmm. Who does that? Well, for the first year, it's it's um, bundled in, and oh, the okay. first like two or three years, I think maybe it's bundled in my escrow account. Yeah, which is fine. It's just one less thing I got to worry about. Right. You know, thankfully, but yeah. thankfully uh. raises come out next month. Hopefully, uh, I'll be crossing <laughs> my fingers. It needs to at least go up the amount of my property <laughs> tax just just to keep keep where I'm at. Hey, you know, uh, last year, uh, inflation went up 8%. Mm-hmm. You ain't getting no 8% no, raise. They did not. <laughs> <laughs> I think they looked me dead in the eye when they were like, Here's 3%. That's, that's exactly what that's, they said. That's the average uh, inflation. R- no, it's not. It's, <laughs> it was 8% last time. <laughs> cool. Am I, are you transferring me to some other town with a lower <laughs> inflation at some point? <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, I got yeah, they looked me dead in my eye and they were like, 3%, I think is pretty good. It's what you qualify for. I'm like, I don't like how this is going. <laughs> oh man, I like I like I hate doing the reviews. Yeah, it was always I don't know. And sometimes they made me change it so it'll sound better in the end. Mm-hmm. I think my first draft was always like too honest. Doing you talking about doing reviews for people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I had to do the reviews to the managers, my managers. I hate that they give you a budget for your raises for people. Uh, our company, oh, no. they'll say like, "All right, you got, I don't know, you got twenty dollars, you know, to add between everybody." So like, okay, all right, this person uh, gets twenty dollars gets to me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, this year we will not be handing out raises. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, just thinking about so Ayana was talking about quitting her second job uh, at McDonald's. And um, they were like, yeah, you know, we talked about it, and, you know, I might get a raise. And then I started doing, like, the math in my head. I'd never really sat down and done it before. I was like, okay, so let's say they give you a dollar raise. Like, that sounds nice. But I'm like, if you work 40 hours a week, that's, that's only that $40. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not that And much. then taxes come out of that? I'm like, you just agreed for, like, you, know, you just agreed to work for an extra, I don't know, 25 30 bucks maybe a yeah. paycheck i'm like you're not gonna notice 30 extra dollars no no are you kidding me like it sounds like it's one of those that it sounds nice on paper and you're like well, i'm making an extra an extra whole extra buck an hour and then you're like oh 30 bucks for the paycheck yeah no, it's just not worth it <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> yeah i mean like overall you you know you always want to make more yeah you know so definitely but yeah just if, if you've got like, serious issues 30 30 dollars isn't gonna fix it you know <laughs> no no it's not Oh, so I had people before be like, "Hey, I'm I'm quitting if I don't get, you know, a dollar raise." I'm like, "You gonna quit? Yeah, you gonna quit over thirty dollars?" Mm. I mean, I, I give it to you. Well, this this man, I mean, he was mad in my kitchen. Uh, I mean, he would you know talk to everybody every day. He was upset. I said, "What are you so upset about?" And he's like, "Cause I, I ought to be making so much uh, an hour. It's twenty five cent more." Than what he was at. Mm. I'm like, you mad over 25 cents? You should have grabbed the $5 and just threw it at him. I said that. There you I go. said, I'll give you $10 right now, and that'll cover this for at least a couple of months. Yeah. I mean, can we do that and, you know, not not go through this every shift? No, it's not even about that. I just asked you what it was about, and that's what you told me. You was mad about one quarter an hour. I said, I'll, I'll get you the raise. Like, I can't do it tonight, but, yeah, I got no problem with that. That man was on principle just so upset. I was like, okay, all right, buddy, we'll, we'll get you squared away. You know what, uh, my old boss, and I kind of agree and I kind of don't. He said, don't argue with people about money. You know, if they want to make more money, give them more, but you control how much you s- You still got to spend whatever you uh, allowed in the budget. Mm-hmm. You just control it by the hours, <clears throat> which, you know, it's kind of crappy, but... <laughs> I'll give you 20 bucks an hour. You're only working two hours a week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. Well, people kill me, man. Like, I can't tell you how many times they'll come up and they'll be like, hey, uh, I need some more hours on my paycheck. I got a, you know, whatever coming up. I want to take a trip or I just took a trip or uh, I, I need some more hours. Okay, man, sure. 
I mean, I can't just invent shifts, but I'll, I'll, you know, anytime I get some extra hours, I'll slide them your way. Call them up. Hey, uh, three days from now, I got a shift open up. Oh, I already got plans that day. Okay, no problem. Find someone else next week. Hey, I got some uh, extra hours coming up. You know, tomorrow you want to you want to work tomorrow? Oh, say I can't. Okay, all right. Next week. Hey, I got a shift tonight. Somebody just called out. You want to come on in? Um, I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. It's it's the shift at 5 p.m. <laughs> I called him at one. I s- he said I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. You got four hours before this one. I mean, like, get you a, get you another two or three hours of sleep, man. Uh, no, I don't think it'd be very productive if I got there. Right. Okay, heard. <laughs> don't don't worry about them extra hours. <laughs> You'll be lucky to get three shifts next week. I mean, yeah, I either want it or you don't. I mean. <laughs> I don't mess with it. I'll call somebody like a couple of times, and if they say no, like continuous, then yeah. I, I don't. S- why, why, why didn't you let me know? Because you, you always say no. Yeah. You always say no every I, single time. I ain't worried about it at that point. You know? and, and then I just hire somebody else and like, where'd all my hours go? And he give them to the new guy. Yeah. Why? Because you weren't picking them up. <laughs> I mean, I, like, yeah, you, I that's, tell her too. Those are the options. I, mean, like, I need holidays somebody to work. Holidays are like that. Hmm? Holidays are like that. Yeah. Everybody wants off on the holidays. And I, I tell people ahead of times, like, yo, you know, if everybody requests off, I'm going to have to hire some new people. And I'm not going to hire these new people for one or two shifts a week. That's right. They're not going to be, they're not just trained for three weeks just right. to work one day. Right. And then, okay, well, it's not Valentine's Day anymore. We're going to let you go. <laughs> no. Yeah. Guess what? They're family now. <laughs> They're taking your hours. Right. <laughs> you better invite they them over. They came in the ho- They worked those holidays, yeah. didn't they? You know. Unlike some oh, people. <laughs> I had, to <laughs> I had somebody get mad at me. Like, okay, so people re- request off. We had to request off book, and they were like, oh, and I work every single holiday. Didn't you request off? No, but uh, you work me every single holiday. Well, you're not requesting off. Yeah, I'm gonna work <laughs> you. You know, but you want a holiday off? Please, just. Request it off, no problem. <laughs> Speaking of scheduling for the holidays, it was Father's Day, and this man was upset. There was a wait, and <laughs> we did like twelve hundred guests. <laughs> it was, it was, we were very busy all day, and this man was like, "Y'all just need to hire more people." I'm like, "Sir, there are fourteen servers on right now. Everyone has just three little tables yeah. instead of their normal four or five. The restaurant is still full. Yeah, <laughs> the restaurant is still full. I'm like." The only thing that would do is just be everybody would be asses to elbows in the back at some point. Yeah. There's just too many people you can have. I mean, we help. We, we could we could make it where everybody has one table. That wouldn't get you in any faster. I mean, the restaurant's still full. I don't know what to say. Yeah. I don't know why you had to come out today. I mean, there was a day before and a day before that and a day after this. That's why you got to come out when everybody else? No, man. We got a couple of days before. Yeah. People get upset. It's it's just an arbitrary day. Just go out, go out the day before and celebrate. Yeah. Go out the next week. You know it don't matter. Hey, sorry we couldn't go out on Father's Day, but I'd like to take you out on Thursday or whatever. Take you to dinner or, or whatever it is you want to do. Less you know? stressful. Yes. Yeah. Less, less, yeah. I wouldn't. Yeah, I don't really care about that either. My, I think most of the time because I'm working anyways. Mm-hmm. So like, any major holidays, you're most likely to work. But my wife is, you know. She made her peace a long time ago that she'll never have a Valentine's Day with me or Christmas. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, the most some of my jobs have had Christmas off, but you know, if it's a holiday, I'm probably going to be working. Yeah. Unless it's a birthday, that's about it. I work on. Yeah, most of the time I work. I think last year I had off though. This year I know I'm I'm working if I'm still there. Who knows? <laughs> Another two weeks are coming up. <laughs> well, it's, it's two, we- two weeks. Two weeks are c- coming up. Then I'm still working there because. My birth, my birthday is coming up. Oh, there you go. Stay on through that at least. Maybe you'll get some presents. Yeah, maybe. Or at least a cake. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, your daughter is like, "Yo, we got to go." <laughs> I don't even know what time it is. Oh shoot. Oh, how long did we record? Oh, only one hour because it took us two hours to set this thing up. <laughs> hour and a half. There you go. You got it. <laughs> that makes a couple of episodes. That's true. That. But anyways, all right. Well, thanks for watching. We're gonna sign off. Um, Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah. And as always, serve it neat. <laughs> that was funny. I liked it. All right.